up in here, baby. We got this. We are in for a treat in this matchup, Greg, with two conference rivals set to clash yet again. Yeah, we're going to see some added effort and intensity, and, and don't be surprised if it gets a little chippy. Now here's Wiggins. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Pass to Wagner. Green kicks to Wiggins. Shot clock at five. Green with a screen on Brooks. Here's Wiggins, finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Wiggins has got the opening bucket of the night here for the Warriors. Passes it to Adams. Outside, Bain. Off target with his three. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for Golden State. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. And you got to love a team that can maintain its composure on the road take good shots and knock them down with confidence well awesome to see in that last game how the motion in their offense didn't stop because they were in some hostile territory rant and the rebound goes to the warriors well that mid-range jay usually pretty much on the money maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one mp outside to the inside it's stolen by Adams. Wiggins against Brooks. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Oh, nice play from Brooks down in the paint. Not afraid to get physical on the inside. Green against Jackson. Green kicks to MP. Wiggins from outside. Another three for Golden State. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now I don't see any let up. Think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Now here's Jackson. Real disappointing game for him in that loss to San Antonio. And that one drops. Well, Steven Adams always working the offensive glass, strong and aggressive in there, and gets that second chance hoop. Here's Green. Four point game. Inside. Kicks it out to Wiggins. The pass to MP. Green left side. Wagner with a screen for Green. And finish off by Wagner. Now, Draymond Green patient enough to know when his teammates are running around, at some point one's going to break open, then he finds them. Brooks against Wiggins. Brooks misses. Warriors leading by six. We saw Andrew Wiggins take a big step forward when he went to Golden State in 2020. A lot of people think that's a subtle change. You know this is all luck. Not gonna last. You adjust some of the shot selection and how offensively he's staying engaged. That's a big difference both physically and mentally. That's been a big uptick for him along with his defensive presence. Catching up on the changes for Memphis. Tillman, he's checked in for Adams. And it's Luke Kennard in for Brooks. And then for Golden State, Green, he's checked in for Wagner. Kaminga comes in for Draymond Green. And it's Thompson in for Stephen Curry. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Now here's Morant. 35 points for him last game against the Spurs in San Antonio. He also did a masterful job in that game of drawing a lot of fouls, so he's creating havoc for the defense. Now here's MP. Following the miss by John ja Morant. Over in the corner, Green. Thompson outside. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Thompson's got five points so far. Yeah, great outside shooting really fueling this run and finished off by Morant you gotta close off those avenues to Morant once he gets in one he is focused on dropping the hammer 
Now, here's MP. He had a career game last time out. Bucket after bucket. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Morant against MP. Morant passes to Tillman. Jackson has the open look. Off target from three-point range. Warriors leading by 12. Down low. And out of bounds as the Grizzlies gain possession. So Can someone check the score? He's checked Is in for John Jackson. Really Ludzo winning? comes in for Bain. And Jones subbed in for Morant. And the Warriors also making a change. Even Genzo's checked in. Now here's Bloodso, currently averaging almost six points a game. Pass to Tillman. Clock at six. To the paint. And he dunks it down. They've worked hard to get this lead. Can't start giving up easy slams all of a sudden. Yeah, GA, that's right. And that was easy. Gift wrap for him. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead. And then their guard gets let down. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, the, all the hustle. Double-digit lead. going out there no let up clear line of delineation of what you're talking about once playoff time hits the NBA I mean during the regular season you see a lot of guys spending some time with one another but come playoff time I'd be hard-pressed to find that kind of interaction because guys know what's on the line they know what's at stake and competition always reigns supreme. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. They've got Iguodala, MP out there with Moody. Then it's Green, and it's Wiggins in at the small forward position. Yeah, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks very much. MP in the last game against the Hawks played a huge game. He finished with 52 points and seemed to pick apart the defense all night with a ton of assists. He racked up big numbers in what was a really good performance. Can he carry it over tonight? We'll see, Kevin. David, we appreciate the update. Greg, we'll see if he can keep rolling here tonight. Yeah, and that's the rub. When he's in rhythm, he can carry your team across the line. And you want to see him make sure that the teammates are also involved in what they're doing, especially if he draws. How the heck is that a foul, ref? You need LASIK. Team Warriors, Brent Berry, what made them special? Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green. I mean, all these guys in their prime, Kevin, but... To me, it's what Steve created there stylistically. The fact that they played with so much freedom and so much enjoyment, uh, you don't see that all that often. And so the Warriors reaching the crown with that kind of consistency and character, that's what made it special. Here's Thompson. Good, and the assist goes to MP. MP's got five assists tonight. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Here's Morant. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Morant's got eight points. A, a solid distributor. I, I think Jackson is gifted at reading defenses and then being able to spot the open teammate. Lucky seven drops in. He's perfect from the floor. Seven for seven. Uh, you can tell right now the teammates are scanning the floor to find him and feed him. Why not? He's on it right now. Agreed, ref. Great call. Grant 
I mean, we've seen Ja with some vicious in-game throwdown. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Andre Iguodala. Well, it's interesting to watch him because he's putting his body on the line to get to the line. We didn't see this during the first quarter, but he's making up for it here. Just playing with poise and confidence. Man, they continue to put points on the board. Yeah, just really pouring it on right now, trying to take away the opposition's motivation to keep competing in this one. For Memphis, they've gone 6 of 12 in the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Basket counts. Morant's got eight here in the quarter. And just so many different ways Morant can hurt you. Tonight, it's been with the scoring. MP outside. He feeds it to Thompson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Thompson's got 21 in the game. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's important. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. Warriors ahead, running away with this one. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Welcome to halftime, everybody. What a fiery first half for Klay Thompson. Even if the defense doubles him, I don't think it's slowing him down. Okay, time to discuss the first half of this one. That'll do it for our show tonight. Thanks for joining. And with the second half upon us, We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Clay Thompson has been sensational. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. At the forward spots, it's Brooks and Jackson Jr. In at the guard spots, Morant and Bain. And it's Adams in at the five down low. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? Morant surveying the D. Pass to Bain. And foul on the shot. time for a rookie and Bain's three-point numbers went up in his second season from the start of his career Desmond's been a premier shooter Curry kicks to green Golden State moving it around it's good Curry's got four points in the quarter and the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively and here in the second half of play we're just over a minute in Morant passes to Bain. And it's Wagner with the rebound. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And the basket is good. Just impressed with the teamwork out there. Setting. This is for Memphis. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Jaron Jackson. Eric Bledsoe comes in for Bain. And Tyus Jones subbed in for Morant. Kamingas come in for the Warriors. Bledsoe against MP. Passes it to Brooks. Adams with it. To the middle. Bledsoe dishes to Brooks. Kicks it out to Jones. Shoots the three. Doesn't go that time. And they're one of four here to start the second half. The three from MP. Good, and Curry gets the assist. MP's got eight points. Well, great start. Check that box. They've made their first four shots, guys, and the offense looking very fluid right now. To the paint. Here's Clark. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. You got to know, this is Clark's skill set at this stage of his career. He takes quality shots when he's inside. 
It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldrich. What's the latest, David? Thanks, Kevin. Of course, the Warriors' offense stands out for its emphasis on ball movement. Coach Steve Kerr says if you get to touch the ball and be a part of the action, whether it's as an assist man, ball mover, shooter, dribbler, the more people who are involved in the offense, the more powerful it becomes. Kevin, strength in numbers indeed. How the heck is that a foul, ref? The Kill more the better. And it's worked for him. DA, thanks. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Tillman, he's checked in for Steven Adams. And it's Kennard in for Dylan Brooks. Then for the Warriors, Clay Thompson comes in for Mo Wagner. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Curry. And it's the Warriors' ball. They're on a 15-6 run. Green. MP outside. Gets the three-pointer to fall. He's got 17. Bottom line, you need shooters on your team who can space the floor. Oh, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. Jones finds Clark. Back to Jones. Puts up a three. Buries it from three-point range. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Three-pointers are killing them at this point, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Jones, no luck. The Warriors have gone an unbelievable 8 of 8 shooting since halftime. Must have been some kind of pep talk in that locker room. Hits it from three-point range. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Bloodsoe outside. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Gets it to go. That one good from Tillman. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Jones against MP. The pass to DiVincenzo. On the wing, DiVincenzo. MP outside. Thompson right side. Kaminga up top. Here's the three. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. Memphis has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call. On that foul. Get him, MP. In for Andrew Wiggins. Moody comes in for Thompson. And MP subbed in for Dante DiVincenzo. Greg, we know that Clay Thompson had 941 days between NBA games because of those injuries. But he was using that experience away for good. Uh, and Clay announcing with that his family foundation would have a 941 day initiative. Programs to help workers who have suffered career setbacks. Thompson helping others with their comeback. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. MP out there with Moody. Then it's Kaminga. Then there's Iguodala. And it's Green in at the center position. Out to the right wing. Moody the pass to MP. Clark against Iguodala. Out to the wing, fires for three, and Kaminga gets it to go on the assist by Igudala. Igudala has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout, big time dominance, and and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Warriors. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted and of course this season for these guys has been just remarkable win after win we've watched them take on the best teams in the league and 
dispatch them with ease. Tonight will mark win number 72, adding to the storied season one more time. And their dominance continues, guys, as they sweep the season series four games to none. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for MP. Now serving up feeds all night long. He was the best teammate that they had. That's the foul. Good call. Lance brought a lot of excitement. He almost always makes the night's highlight reel. He is what I'd call an elite showman. Kennard, he's checked in for Memphis. Bledsoe comes in for Tyus Jones. No, no he didn't. Oh, Why you love oh, guys you shooting like those, that. right, Kev? Don't hold the ball. Oh, Let it rip. That yeah. is amazing. Bledsoe looking around. Clark sets a screen for Bledsoe. Kicks to Clark. Lays it up and banks it in. <laughs> it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. Yeah, it's tough to mount a comeback like this and then fall oh so short. I'm sure that's weighing on them just a little bit. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This crowd was stunned by the... 